Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cassandra tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can backup and restore a Cassandra key space. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all let me check if the Cassandra service is running. So I will issue the command sudo service Cassandra status so as you can see here it's active and running so now I can get into it through the Cassandra query language shell okay here we go so now here I can see all the key spaces that I have so I'll use the command describe key spaces okay here we go so you can see that I have a couple of system key spaces and our example key space which is called university so let's use this university example key space so I will use university key space here we go now let's see all the tables it contains Okay, so I'll describe the tables. So actually I have just one table called student. So let's see the data or the contents of this table student. So I will execute SQL query select all fields from our table student. So as you can see here, I have a couple of students. So I have the roll number, the department, and the name and semester of each student. So I have a total here of six records in our table. So now our exercise will be actually to delete the whole case key space and try to restore it back again, okay? But before that, let me exit this shell. Okay. So the first thing to do is actually to backup the key space schema. So as you can see here, I am under my desktop folder. So in order to backup the schema of our key space, it's pretty easy. I will issue the command Cassandra query language shell minus E for export. Then I can specify here describe key space university. So, okay. And I will pipe that to a folder so I to actually a file not a folder so I can name that file whatever I want so I will just for example call it uh, schema university okay I will add extension Cassandra query language for example here we go let's verify that I have actually created that file I will issue just a list command here and schema university.cql file has been created let's see its content okay so you can see clearly that it contains schema of our space so here is the statement create key space university with a replication okay and also I have the schema of our table student okay so you can see here the different fields it contains okay so now that I have my schema of our key space we can go and see other things 
here I want to show you the data files of our key space so as you may know all the data files are located under slash var slash lib cassandra and data so here you can see the different folder corresponding to each key space that I have and here we are looking for the key space university so let's go and see what is in that folder university et voila you can see I have inside it actually another folder with the name of our table and a time stamp at the end so let's see the content of that student table et voila so you can see the different data files for our student table okay so you have to keep in mind that structure of the files corresponding to each your key space okay so now let's begin the process actually of backupping our Cassandra key space so actually Cassandra uses what we call snapshot in order to backup our key space so with the help of the command node tool we can take snapshot of our key space which is in this case university here we go so of course it will take some time depending on how many data you have in your case space or your table so at the end you get a directory snapshot with this name here so this is very important to write down or to remember if you want to restore your key space to the last snapshot that you have taken because you can have many different snapshots so if you want to see all snapshots that you have or that you have created before you can issue the command not tool list snap shots so as you can see here I have different actually three snapshots that I have taken before so this is the snapshot name the key space name the column family which, has, which is actually the table and the true size and size on disk okay so what is important for us is actually this snapshot here the last snapshot that we have taken which end with 890 okay so now I'm gonna drop or delete the whole key space and try actually to restore to this last snapshot so in order to drop our key space I will use the, I will be using once again the Cassandra query language shell here we go and we issue the command drop key space university okay so let's verify that I don't have any more this key space with the command describe key spaces so I have only the system key spaces which is good so now I will try actually to restore our university key space but as I have told you before you have or you must have the schema of your key space so our exit that and let's verify that actually indeed we have this snapshot folder here that I have mentioned before so I will go back to this uh, folder here and we have snapshot folder so let's go inside it and we have actually a couple of uh, 
snapshot but what is interesting for us is the last snapshot which ends with 890 so I will try to go inside that folder okay and you can see that I have all the files the data files for this key space okay so first thing first let's actually import our schema okay so let me clear that so in order to import our schema I will go once again to the Cassandra query language shell and remember I'm on the desktop folder which has actually schema file so in order to import actually our schema I will just use the command source and of course the name of our file which is if you remember schema university okay so now I'm importing schema of our space university here we go so let's verify that with the keyword describe key spaces if voila you can see our university key space has returned again let's use it let's see the tables it contains so I have only one table and of course it will contains no data so I have only the schema of our table so how can I actually get the data back once again so I will exit I will clear that remember as I told you before inside that folder here I have all the data that I must have for my table so the process is pretty simple I have to copy all this data here to where to not snapshot folder but to the table folder here okay so let's do that and verify that so I will copy all what is inside our snapshot folder so I will copy all the files that the snapshot folder contains so star that star so it means all the files I will copy them to the var lib Cassandra data and our key space folder here and our student table but here as you can see I have actually you will notice that I have actually two folders one which is the older one which is actually will be empty <laughs> because I have dropped the key space so this one which ends with 02 is empty but now we have created when we have imported our schema we have created our new student folder which ends with pf5 okay you can also verify that with another command i will show you so you can just issue the command tree to see which folder is empty and which folder contains some data okay so if I tree through varlib Cassandra data you can see here this tree command allows you to see actually all the files that you have so the empty one is the new one and the old one contains that the data okay 
If you don't have the tree command, you can just install it with apt-get install, okay? So let me first do the same thing. Remember, we have to copy all the files in our last snapshot, which ends with actually uh, 890. Okay, so star dot star old files, and I have here uh, to replace the list with copy command. And as I told you before, I have to copy that to the student folder to the empty one. So var lib Cassandra data student data university then students and with the one that ends with P5 BF5 actually. Here we go. But I have here an error permission denied. So of course I have to issue the command with root privileges. So I'll just use sudo double exclamation mark. Here we go. So let's verify that folder is not now not empty. So our list it's content. So var lib Cassandra data then university then our student table. Here we go. So now I have all the files, the data files from the snapshot folder. So do we have actually restored our data? So let's verify that. So I will use university. Here we go. Let's select all from our student table. I still have no data. Why? Well, because simply you have to refresh your data. The data files exists in the folder corresponding to your table, but you have not refreshed them. So in order to refresh your data, we issued command not tool refresh refresh. Then you have to specify your uh, key space university and the table which is student. Okay, so now let's verify. So I will use university. Let's select. Et voila, you can see that now you have restored your data back to your university key space. So the process actually is pretty, pretty straightforward. First thing, you must have the schema of your key space with with each table that you have. Then you have to issue the command snapshot. And finally, you have to copy all the files from the snapshot folder that you have created to the table or to the folder corresponding to your table. But don't forget to issue the command node tool refresh in order to refresh your data. So that was actually a brief tutorial to show you how you can backup and restore a Cassandra key space. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.